All right, let's show you how to make a backup of your course. I'm here in Canvas at the dashboard, so I'm going to click on the course that I want to back up. I'm going to back up my AP Physics right now. So I click on that one, come over to the left, scroll down to Settings, wherever that might be in your list, then come back over to the right, you'll see this Export Course Content right here. I want to click on the Export Course Content, and the course, or the export type, I'm going to leave as the course because I want my whole course. So I'm going to create my export. I just hit the button, and it starts creating that export. This may take a while. Uh, you can follow this. It, it says that it may take a while. We can leave. We come back to it if we want to, uh, or we can stay uh, right here and just wait for it to get done. Okay? Okay, you can see that my course is nearly done exporting now. But let's show you, just in case you decided to go, oh, well, I just finished, but let's still show you, in case you decided to go somewhere else, do something else while it was exporting. I've got another course open that I've already created an export for, so this is my astronomy course. So I created an export for it. How do I find that export? Well, I do the same thing that I did to create the export. I go to settings right over there on the left. Then I go to my export course content, click on that on the right, and you'll see I have a course export from 23 minutes ago. If I click on that, it will download my course export. Okay, so that's how I get back in there if I left it. So let's go back to that AP Physics course. Now I'm back in my AP Physics course, and you can see I've, it says my export's done. I'm just going to refresh this page. We'll click up here and show you that. So now you can see it also says, because it was just a couple minutes ago, a complete course export from two minutes ago. So all I'm going to do is a, to download that export. Now I just click on that, and you'll see that down here in the corner it started downloading. I have about 20 seconds. So in that 20 seconds, I'm going to go to where I want to put that export. So first thing I would recommend is back it up on your Canvas account. So over here, I've created a Canvas course backup folder in my Google Drive. And you can see I've already got that astronomy that I showed you. I've already put it in there. So I've got one backup on there. It shows me when I put it in there. So that's always helpful. Now, if you look down here, we've got my AP Physics. It's all done downloading. So all I'm going to do is click on that bar. Click on that. Well, I'm going to. Grab that course and drag it into the my backup. So now you can see over here it's uploading my AP Physics. So I just click on that bar and drag it up, and it will upload my course into my Canvas course. You can see I'm almost done here, and my circle is almost complete. It's finished the upload, so now my course backs up right there. So I'd recommend you do that. Plus, I always like to have at least two backups. So I also have a drive attached, the Seagate backup. You can see I've got this folder that says Canvas Course Backups. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come down here. Well, actually, let's zoom this over so I can get into it. There we go. So I can just grab my course. If it is and drag it into that backup on that hard drive, that backup hard drive I have. So now I've got it on my hard drive and I've got it on my course backups in my Canvas. So I've got two places. So if something goes wrong with one of them, the other one should be good. Okay, that's what you want to make sure you do to each of your courses uh, at the end of the year. Make sure you back them all up.